These are two Grey Cup championship rings worn on the knuckles of one John Cornish, two-time Grey Cup champion John Cornish with the red and white with the Calgary Stampeders. John, kind enough to come in on a Friday, the Friday before the Grey Cup weekend, the Friday before Grey Cup Sunday, uh, talking uh, football, which is fun. Uh, thanks for coming in. Always good to see you, John. Always a pleasure. And it's, so you're three years out right now, and we've been talking about this this morning. Uh, coincidence or not, we're just throwing it out there for your digestion that the Stamps have not won the Grey Cup since John retired. <laughs> I mean, it is true. Okay. It is true. But I, I think those our fortunes are going to change now. You I did? Mean, okay, it, you did. Like, we had a few years we were supposed to win. Yeah. And it didn't quite work out. Now, the, there's different factors involved there. But this is a team that I really feel has it, ha has that Grey Cup winning uh, capacity. Why do you say that compared to the last two years? Because we've, you know, better records during the regular season the last couple of seasons. The, the, the difference, I would say, is sort of every year has claimed that they have a great locker room cohesion and stuff but at this point th this team really is th it is that team that has come together understands that they've been through some real trials during the season you know coming out as as hard as they did and having to sort of find their way to win again I, I think when you have a storyline like that it allows the team to come together and, and really understand what each individual member has to do to lead the team to win are you saying that it's better to lose a couple of games to kind of pull the guys together? So if, if I was to point out, 2008, we lost to Winnipeg late in the season. 2014, we lost to Winnipeg late in the season. It's always good to have one of those losses because then you remember what it's like to lose and that allows you to, to really try to recapture that win. Like a reality check, so yeah, to speak, absolutely. right? Okay, absolutely. okay. And as a player, uh, what's going through the minds of the Stamps right now as they kind of count down to Sunday in the 4 o'clock kickoff? It, <clears throat> you're just trying to get ready. I, I know I've, I've been part of teams that came into this game and they wanted to celebrate prior to the game. In 2012, we had uh, a, a team that was just super excited to win the Western Final. And then we didn't necessarily put the time in to winning the Grey Cup. But I know Bo and the rest of the team's leaders are really getting these guys just focused on this game. You can celebrate after. Just finish this game, and then you can have all the celebration you want. How, how do they keep the guys focused? With all the fun and the hoopla and the cameras and the media attention, and everyone's kind of laser focused. It, it, it is difficult. Uh, but I would say Edmonton's maybe a little bit easier city to stay focused in. Uh, Ottawa, there's a lot of stuff to do. Toronto, a lot of stuff to do. Edmonton, you get up there, cool town, let's play some football. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of getting up there, you're heading up, uh, hopefully, to. you're thinking about you know, heading up at some point today on this Friday for the Grey Cup. Now, are you going to be on the sidelines or are you going to be in the stands kind of just you know, having a little bit of fun? You know, I, I uh, really appreciate getting a chance to just sit down and watch a game. And the, the Stamps uh, give me that opportunity. I'll be doing a few like Stamps-related things prior to the game. But once it's game time, I'm going to just get cozy with my blanket, with my partner, <laughs> and we're just going to watch the game. <laughs> okay. And when it comes to watching the game, can you watch it as a fan now? Or do you still dissect and say that, you know, we should have called this play, should have called that play? You know, I, I uh, tend to defer to Dave Dickinson. He, okay. was, he, was, he was my coach when I was playing, so I just had to accept whatever his call was, and it's still the same. It's like, okay, I, I, see, I understand why you made that call, Dave. You know, maybe I might not have made that call. <laughs> <laughs> so you can be an armchair quarterback now? That's I, 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 a little bit. You know, <laughs> at some point, I, I would like to uh, you know, maybe do a little bit more analysis. I had my Cornish's Keys video series earlier this nice. year, and uh, that was nice, but it's, it's always fun to... to Say, you know, may, maybe that would have been a better play. And to, to have that, uh, the, the capacity to, to be able to critique and not get in trouble at the end of the day. <laughs> not get in trouble. That's the key right there. Not get in trouble. Four o'clock this Sunday, the Red Blacks taking on the, the Red and White Calgary Stampeders Commonwealth Stadium in Edmonton. And before I let you go, Andy was wondering the Stamps have home, their, the home team. What colors do you think Calgary's going to wear? So the last time we played Ottawa at home, we wore our normal home jerseys, but then our, our pants were different and our helmets were different. Okay. So it's going to be, I'm not exactly sure what the combination is going to be, but it's not going to be our normal stuff. All right. Well, let's hope it's a good luck charm, that's for sure. Thank you so much, John, for coming in. Always a pleasure. I know your time's very valuable. We appreciate it. This Sunday, Grey Cup 4 o'clock kickoff. Go Stamps, go. Let's reverse the curse.